but as of right now, I'm getting ready to show you the Fayotec camera. And let's go ahead and we're just going to go into the gallery. And this is the camera that I'm talking about right here. The Fayotec pocket gimbal. So I'm going to get my S Pen out while recording. Let's see if uh, this continues. And we're going to just X this. Is it still recording? It's still recording. Fantastic. So I'm going to turn on the Fayotech camera by pressing the power button. And then I'm going to hold down the red record button for three to five seconds. That's going to turn on the Wi Fi. From there, I'm going to get into my apps, go to the Fayo Cam. Now this has turned my recorder. Connect the pocket, boom. Connect the VCam. I've already put in the password previously, so this isn't going to ask me for the password. And connect. And we are going live. Boom. Right now you are looking through the camera itself. Uh, if you can see my little dot on the screen, that's the S Pen. Show you a couple of things that this camera can do while being controlled by the phone. First of all, is you can see we have the capability to move the camera around. This is all while it's standing on its base. Right there. Okay. So this looks a little cropped. What am I looking at as far as my screen resolution goes? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to center the camera. This little uh, four arrows pointing at each other kind of puts it back in the center. We're going to go to video. Here's our settings. So it's set at 1080, 120 frames, quality is high. That's where I'd like it. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. As you can tell right up here at the top center of the screen, the Fayotech camera is recording. And what I'm showing you here is my neighbor's getting his driveway redone. And this is the slab that was poured today. Because yesterday when I went to make this video, my screen recorder recorded not in a manner that I was happy with. A couple of things that this camera is able to do, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between the screen recording and the actual recording from the camera, and that is going to be because some of the things that I'm going to show you on screen may not necessarily work while recording. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording of the camera. That's it stopped. So again, up at the top right hand of the screen, you see the, the different video resolutions. Here's 4K at 30 frames. Quality is high. Let's hit that and see if it crops in any. So it didn't look like it cropped in at all. It's not recording yet. Here we go. Now we're recording. 4K, 30 frames. And there we go. Still moving the camera around. And we will center the camera. Over here on the top left, you've got this little backwards G. We're going to click that. And what that does is flip the screen. So that way you can, uh, if you were doing a selfie video, you could flip it so that way it saw the opposite. I don't know why people do that. It aggravates me. But I mean to each their own. This, I believe, is the metering. I haven't yet the should be able to see what this little blue box has done. If I click this rectangle with the circle around it, that's actually gives control of the camera to the phone. So what I'm going to do is step in front of the camera on this hopefully dry cement and we're going to hit record with the phone. So this is on fast follow and you can tell as I move my phone around, the camera is going to follow. If I was, let me get a little bit closer here. There we go. Now it's going to follow my face. See? I've returned 
this is a reason that you'd want to use the phone. This way you could select things on the screen, so it's picking me back up. And once it's grabbed me, it's grabbed me, I believe. And we could say, well, Michael, you've got your phone. You're right, I don't know. So now I've moved the phone down to my side. And the thing is, this is gonna be a little hard because of the light. Let's go ahead and get off. The, so now I know what this box, blue box does, it's the tracker. See now, now there's nothing happening on the screen because the tracker's off. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my camera down. But the lighting's a little better. We don't have the sky blocking everything. I'm gonna put it back on, select me. Now it's tracking. Why would you wanna use your phone? Because then you can make sure that you're in frame, you're getting videotaped, as long as it's tracking you. Which, there we go. All right. That'd be a reason that you'd wanna be able to use the Fayo Tech app so you could record different things. Now, I'm not a big fan of always being in the screen. We're gonna go ahead and get me off of here. But that's something that could be useful. The tracking is definitely, definitely something nice. I'm gonna turn that off. Go back to the phone. And now again, we're using the phone. So let's say you wanna use the phone control, but look, my phone's all over the place now. I'm gonna go ahead and recenter it. I thought I was gonna recenter it. Hmm, that's a little strange. I was able to recenter it before. Let's turn the phone off. Recenter. Now, I'll have to be here. Go back to phone control. And here we go. Now we're back to recording with the phone as my primary remote control. It's pretty awesome to watch from here. Anyhow, sorry about shaking it everywhere. I'm going to turn that off. Smooth is the option that I've selected here. Doesn't seem like it's going to be doing much for me. Again. But this is some of the things that the camera can do. These are pan mode. This is a, an option that if I was holding the camera would be more beneficial. Follow mode is going to go everywhere that the, the uh, gimbal goes and all follow. All right, I'm going to get out of the camera now. We've got, here we go. This is turn the camera around the other direction. So that would go into selfie mode. So here's front facing, uh, forward facing and the the LCD screen won't actually be looking at the person getting recorded or the, the subject getting recorded. And then here, we'll tap this, it spins it around, and now you can see me. Uh, something kind of cool that you can do with this camera. We're in auto mode, we've got manual, uh, shutter, ISO, we can crank the ISO, we can bring it up, oh look at that. Now you can see me a little bit more. The Obviously, the sky is going to be a, a lot more washed out when you do this, but in some instances, that's necessary. On our side panel, we've got capture, video, slow-mo, time-lapse, pano, and dynamic. Uh, dynamic is a type of uh, slow motion, and again, I wish that the sky, let's go ahead and bam, make this look a little bit better for you. So see here the 2X, these are the different dynamic uh, slow-mo options that we have here. 2x, 5x, 10, 15, 30. Pano gives us a kind of a cool little photo thing. So the camera right now is on the tripod. We're in manual settings and we're going to bring that ISO back down to 100 so that way we get a little more resolution in the picture. I'm going to center this camera. Here's another thing that using your phone might be beneficial. We're going to take a, a panoramic photo with 180 degrees. We've centered the camera because you don't want the gyroscope to kind of freak out. And let's hit that 180 and take the picture. So it's going to snap a picture here. It's going to move. And move. And move. It automatically downloads to the phone. And what I'm doing is it's... So that was that option for 180 degrees. Now we've got the 3 by 3 We're going to center the camera because I always want to make sure it's center. And we'll take this picture. And you can just see as the camera, the gyroscope gets itself set, 
And it's kind of neat how it's able to stitch everything together. So you might ask why I'm over here doing this at this little bridge thing. It's just because I'm slightly interested by what my neighbor's doing. And their little construction truck has ripped up my back driveway. And I'm hoping when they're all done, they might just dump a little extra cement down my driveway. We'll see. Who knows? So that was the 3x3. It's downloading it over to the phone. I guess it's compositing it first, and then it's going to download it, really, right? I don't know. Now, once this is done, we'll do the... Okay, now we're going to do the 4x4. And select it there, make sure it's centered. And let's take this picture. The reason for the jump cut, if you could see any, was because the screen recorder stop button was over the 4x4 box. So we've gone ahead and taken the 4x4 picture, or 2x2, sorry, my utmost apologies for any of those sticklers out there. Okay, and slow motion video. Time-lapse video is something else that you'd like to have control over with the phone. Setting up the camera, getting on the tripod, getting it where you want, and then doing your time-lapse settings. So here's our little timer. We got the different intervals. Depending on how long, you know, you can take one picture every minute uh, for five minutes, so then you're only getting five pictures. But I think we're not going to really want to do that. Well, let's do every three seconds for five minutes and that's so long I don't want to really do that track motion time-lapse so you can I don't know that I'm not a hundred percent sure my guess is you're gonna set it set it so you can set this camera to track and you know what we might as well go ahead and do that and hit record so it's going to center and I do believe it's recording right now I don't see anything on the screen though but it should be taking a picture every three seconds okay so I've, I've taken control. Maybe I got three seconds worth of video. Back to album. All right, let's go back to live camera. That way I keep my recording set sideways like this. Okay, those are some of the things that this camera has as far as option goes. Now, up here at the top of the picture style. I guess I can't get into it. Let's go over here, settings. All right, we've got simple mode, anti-flicker, Oh, this is some of the things that I've got to reset every time. Grid, watermark, we don't want watermark. So let's leave that as closed. And then more. Format, SD card, device information. Advanced mode. 60 hertz, grid, watermark closed. Aspect ratio, JPEG plus RAW is my photo format. Auto white balance and more here is the same option. So we're going to get out of this. Close here and we're going to go to video. Hit settings. Quality is my priority. Stabilization is my priority. So now we've gone back to quality. Anti-flicker, grid open, watermark, movie format, MP4. This is something that switches back to movie every single time. So that's what I'm actually been recording in. Uh, colors normal. These are the different log. Well, I guess we've only got those, those options. This little haziness, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I'd be able to color correct much of that. Uh, volume adjustment, high, white balance, auto, and more. Format SD card device information. So those are some of the options that you have control over. And again, we've got our different ISO settings. ISO all up to 3200, but as you can tell, this is pretty washed out. I try to find, so my recording box is actually, let's go to 1080, 120, quality high. 
I will record with the ISO that high just to see how terrible it looks on the final version. All right, so can I change any of this in the video? I can. Boom. So 400 looks good. Uh, 100 is too dark right now. 200 is still a little too dark. 400 is kind of okay. So we're going to set that at 400. It's actually probably still a little too dark. Can control those. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed some of what this camera can do. It is definitely a handy little thing to have. I don't know how far I can turn this thing. Oh, so gimbal's reached its limit. Turn it back the other way, see if my bloodhound is going to get in the frame. There she is. There she is. That's my girl. Start recording. Eleanor. What you doing, girl? Huh? What you doing, baby? Sit. Eleanor, sit. Psst. Ah. No, sit. Get up there. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Lay down. Down. Lay down. Lay down. All the way. Lay down. No? Okay. All right. You my good baby? Are you my good baby? Yeah? Where's Ginger? Huh? Let's see where Ginger's at. Can we see her? There's Ginger right there. Okay. Yeah? You my good girl? Oh, well, one tap. Flip it around. All right. So I think that's it for now. And I hope that you like some of the features that this camera offers.